Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new tattoo video. Oh my gosh, hello. So as promised, we are here for my second of my full like tattoo reveal description talk about thing. Hello. Now, I want to quickly just say I am getting over a cold, so I do sound a little bit nasally. I do apologize. I'm on the better side of it now. But you know, with most of these things, when you get like sick, the sort of blocked nose seems to linger for a long time. Go. It's just not fair. Today, we are going to be talking all about my Mortal Kombat full leg sleeve. Now, we've had a lot of discussion about, is it really called a sleeve? Why is it not called a pant? I don't really know. This question gets asked many times. I don't know why it's not, well, you know, a sleeve is for the arm and a pant is for the leg. I don't know. We were talking about the important things today. But no, so we're going to talk about my tattoo sleeve on my leg, my full leg, pain, healing, aftercare, how it all was, everything I've got done. We're going to go descriptions. I've got some nice videos to show you. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. I have, of course, I have a lot more piercing stuff coming up too. So around summertime last year, I did get in contact with a tattooist. He's called Vulcan. Um, and I, I searched for him on Instagram. I was just searching for like colorful tattoos, like realism kind of like, because I remember my leg is kind of realism, but also kind of cartoony because it is still video games. It's still like cartoony looking in the sense of, you know, it's CGI images and stuff. I didn't want one person having my entire body, but also they're kind of different styles. So I wanted to make sure that I had like, like different a different person doing my legs than my arms i've got a different person doing my back like i always make sure that i was have like lots of different things on me so i found vulcan through instagram and i just messaged him and was just like hello do you have any space free? And I gave him the ideas. Now, at first, I wasn't too sure that he was going to pick me up, only because it's a little bit different than what his normal style would be. But he was very lovely and was like, yep, let's have a meeting. So I went and saw him and we had like a nice briefing about everything, what I wanted. We, we designed my entire leg. Now, I have been a massive Mortal Kombat fan ever since I was a child. I know I shouldn't have been playing these games when I was a kid, but my parents didn't care. Naughty mummy. Out of any video games that I have had over the years, Mortal Kombat has definitely been like a staple and I'm so obsessed with it and I just knew that like I didn't want to just get one or two characters kind of like on a cartoon arm like this I actually really wanted to dedicate an entire limb to something that I love and I still love now we're gonna start with my hip section so that is where Ermac is sitting. This was my first ever time getting tattooed on my leg. And I was a bit nervous because I really wasn't too sure kind of what it was going to feel like. I was unsure. Obviously, as well, it's with a new tattooist and everyone has different theory, different different theories. They've got different methods and how they do things. So although I'd, I'd been quite used at this point to getting my arm tattooed because all of my line work was done and I had like two sections colored in at this point. So I was kind of knowledgeable about tattooing what it felt like. But on the leg, it was completely different. So we... Uh, talked about where you wanted the placement a little bit more. Obviously, when you draw it on like an actual like digital leg and then put it on your own leg, it's obviously a little bit different. So we like played around with the design a bit and got like the stencil out and kind of moved it a bit and made sure it was the right size to fit my actual body shape. Because of course, and if you scan my leg and scan my hip, like you know, you're never going to get it perfect until you put it on the actual person. So it took a little bit of adjustment, but and we just started going. Now we did two days in a row, as I said, we do doubled sessions each time. So it was quite an experience to do two days in a row because at this point I'd never, you know, I'd only ever done one one day sessions. And so we did six hours on the first day and then eight hours on the second day, just constantly tattooing so we can get like the chunk done. Now, I will say that the upper outer part of the leg is the least painful section of my whole body. I just, I don't know why. I think maybe because I'm, I'm, I'm definitely right-handed. So I'm right, I, you know, walk with my right foot forward. Like I'm, I lead with my right leg as well. Uh, and I guess... I sleep on that side a bit more. So maybe this, like the sense is there a little bit like lessened. I don't really know. I haven't got my left left side tattooed yet. It will be going at some point, but I don't really know kind of if that makes a difference, but the left side of my body does seem to hurt more than my right so far. But definitely like the upper outer thigh section really didn't hurt that much. Now going out around the hips, it does come up to my hip bone, like right around the top. Of course, I'll show you photos and videos and things so you'll be able to see. So it does come up to my hip and around the hip area definitely was painful. That was one section that I was like, oh, actually, if I sat this for a long time, I don't know how long I could last with this because that was quite painful. So we did the Ermac section and it was really, Really, really interesting. I, I found out that I can sit for two days in a row and deal with it. The second day is definitely more painful. I think because your body's obviously had the one day of like, 
stress and you know all the adrenaline and everything and then you're having to go back for a second day like it's definitely more difficult on the second day but i can actually i'm i've you know i've i found out over time that i'm absolutely fine to do it i was gobsmacked at the speed that vulcan actually tattoos the speed of how much he got done in those two days like, oh when i saw the end of it and i was like you've done like like and in, like it was the, the so you did so much in those two days. I was like, I don't get how you've managed to do this much in that time. You are so fast at doing tattooing. Healing process of that wasn't really too bad to be honest because it's on the outside and it's on the top. I don't like. I just kind of slept on the other side. I kind of slept on my stomach as well because it was still kind of on the side, so it wasn't like it was that much of an issue. Second skin hates me now vulcan has a different method to hira who does my arm so vulcan uses second skin i don't know what it is about my skin but it just doesn't stay on me it just does not stay on me it's out of all the time i've been with vulcan it's only stayed on me once and we'll get to that but every other time within the next morning even like i think the longest it lasted for was like a day and then it just started peeling off and coming off so I ended up just taking it off and kind of looking after it like I would normally look after like my arm tattoos because it, my body was just like, nope, this is not going to stick to us. Goodbye. Get off of me. So it just kind of got rid of it, which is a little bit annoying because obviously when you've got second skin, you can kind of leave, leave it for a few days and not really have to think about it. But out of all of the ninjas in Mortal Kombat, Ermac is by far my favorite one. I love telekinesis. I love his sort of like green aura that he has, like the spirit aura. The response to when I first got this done was very interesting. 99.99% of it obviously was positive. But there was like this weird pocket of people who like was weirded out and really upset with me because I got Ermac tattooed in me and not Sub-Zero or Scorpion. And like, I don't understand why people took it almost like, it was like they were offended that I got a different ninja than what everyone else gets. I distinctly remember one comment back back in like November last year when I started getting tattooed or set October, I can't remember exactly when it was. But I remember one comment was like, out of all the ninjas you could have got, why the hell would you pick Ermac? And it was like, because it's my leg. I'm going to get what I want. It was so strange to see something so sort of detailed on my leg. I was like, oh, it feels like strange. And like people kept saying to me, it's like it's painted on, like it's not real because it looks so good. Healing process of my upper thigh was actually fine again. You know, after a couple of days, uh, it started peeling and the peeling happened relatively quickly. I have found that my leg does tend to heal quicker than my arms. I don't know why. Then we moved on to the bottom section, which has Baraka and a lot of the fire and the Mortal Kombat logo. So... This was like a two, every, we, we kind of had a session like every two months. Now this section I was actually a little bit nervous about because this goes over some of the kneecap and the knee pit at uh, the tendon you bit. And like obviously the general consensus on the internet is that the knee pit and the kneecap is like the most painful sections in your whole body. And I was just like, I'm a bit nervous. I'm scared. I got Baraka added to this section. It's definitely a slightly more modern version of Baraka. The problem with getting some of the older styles was the qualities of the images that we were trying to use were jank, essentially. Because, you know, trying to get a nice image of a video game from like, two, like you know, the early 2000s, like in the 90s and things, it was very difficult. So we definitely went for a more modern Baraka just to make sure that he looked a little bit more detailed. Baraka is one of my ultimate favorite Mortal Kombat characters ever. Ever since Mortal Kombat 2, I love Baraka. I love his serrated blade teeth. I just knew that I needed to get Baraka somewhere. So we fit him down, yes, on the outer side of the calf section. The Mortal Kombat logo goes over the kneecap and there's like fire around it as well. So this one was an interesting process. The outside of the leg was definitely a little bit more painful, but it's still on the lower side of the pain. And this was another two day session as well. So we did, I think we did six hours and six hours. Of course, this, this section is a little bit less, you know, big. So uh, it didn't take us as long. I think we did about 12 hours over the course of two days. I thought it was relatively painful, but nothing too bad. But what I will say was actually quite funny is I didn't think the outside of the kind of kneecap and some of the inner like knee pit section on this time was actually that painful. We did that on the first day. Maybe if it was on the second day, I probably would have had a slightly different opinion. However, the one of the guys who worked in the studio as well, he was watching me get the kneecap section done and he was kind of looking at me a bit strange. I was a bit like, what's happening? And he was like, I don't understand how you're not reacting. I was like, I've, I've never seen anyone get a knee tattoo like this and have like no reaction. Cause I was just sitting there like, 
I'm very good at poker face. I'm very good at not showing any emotion if I really need to actually be like composed. Because of course, when you're getting tattoos, the worst thing you could do when you're getting tattoos is be screaming, moving around, jolting, jumping. Because you know, that's, you need the, you need your tattoo artist to be able to focus as much as they possibly can. Yes, I don't think it was as painful as I was expecting, but it was still painful. Definitely like round the kneecap section because you know, like the gooey bit and like, you know, I'm, I'm, how to explain the kneecap, the sort of towards the bottom part of it, like to, closer to the feet. There's like the little dip that's kind of a bit squidgy. Like that was painful. I was very good at just like composing myself and just being like, this is fine. <laughs> Little liar. But honestly, honestly, I didn't think I didn't think it was that bad. Later sessions, I realized how painful the knee pit was, but that little bit, because it was kind of towards the edge of it, I don't think it was that bad at all. But of course, as before, we got this section done. I loved it. It looked beautiful. Healing process was relatively the same as the first time as well with my hip. It wasn't really that strenuous peeled relatively quickly. The second skin again did not stay on, not surprisingly, but you know, it last, I think it lasted like a day and a half and then it was just peeling off. You know, the thing is, is like some of it was staying on, but once it starts to peel off, it's very difficult to be like, oh, I have to wash this little section because it's more exposed and make sure this bit doesn't dry out, but everything else is still covered. So I just take it off because it's just easier to work on it as a whole than trying to do little sections that have kind of come off. So it was about six weeks later, we went in for session five and six. And this time we did the Shinnok section on my inner lower uh, calf muscle and like upper knee sort of we did like more of the knee section this was actually the most painful leg section despite the knee pit which i'll talk about later overall when it comes to tattooing this section here which was like the other side of the kneecap and we went over the knee on this bit and the inner section of the calf muscle was by far the worst section of my leg when it comes to pain so shinnok was introduced in mortal kombat 4 absolutely love his character as i said i don't want to go too in detail of the characters and what they do because like it would just take me too long but again like most of these characters they've kind of like changed a little bit over time so this is more about nine version of shinnok so with this as well we really wanted to put some more sort of background stuff so with the with the baraka and sindel which i've got later on and with um shinnok i put some of the kamidogus which is these little medallions that they use uh that kind of like shows the the realms so like i've got one for the nether realm which is what shinnok is from and i've got one from the uh outworld which is where baraka's from so kind of over the body as well so we put but we also put uh shinnok's medallion which he's got um underneath him with his face i think this is probably my favorite section of my whole leg i love shinnok as a character and i love his design just i just love how he looks on this but i will say this section yeah it was the most painful what i also found very funny as well is this section definitely had the most kind of like twitchy nerve endings in my leg Sometimes when you're getting tattoos, you can go over a nerve or something and it kind of makes you twitch. It's not you're going into shock or having too much done. It just kind of happens sometimes and it's really hard to sort of like to stop it. So there was lots of sections kind of in the inner section of this calf that had these little nerves and I was like focusing my energy to like not twitch. I kind of like, like made my leg a little bit rigid and was a bit like don't twitch don't twitch don't twitch don't twitch so one part i will say was actually really painful towards the top of sec the top section of this around like the knee area that bit was really painful and going on to the second day when we were carrying on putting like the the wipes on it and stuff and like cleaning it for the second day to get on and then obviously anytime he kind of like cleaned over that section that we did on the first day it was actually really painful of course it has to be done but it was really painful i feel like that was probably the hardest part to deal with from the second day in these double sessions it was definitely cleaning the first session with like the you know the all the you know disinfections and things that they have so it was it yeah that was definitely painful but shinnok is probably my favorite section of the whole thing of course i love my whole leg we had to try to work out how to match the green lightning and soul aura around the whole thing so officially he doesn't have it coming out of his eye but we were like let's just kind of put it there and like play with this anyway just to kind of try to make it match over the whole leg and i really liked how it looked in the drawing so we were just kind of like let's just do that as well i don't think this took us that long i think we probably did about six or seven hours each day i don't know off of my head but it was it was a lot of fun i really enjoyed that time and looking at it i was at the end of it i was just like oh my god because I was just so excited. And because, again, I love Shinnok so much, I was just like, it looks so good. This was actually strange, though, with the aftercare because I had the second skin on me for three and a half days. 
It didn't come off. It didn't unstick. I have no idea why this one section of my leg was suddenly like, yes, actually, I don't mind. It's a miracle. I don't know if it's to do maybe the skin texture is just slightly different on the inside than the outside. And maybe it just stuck to it better. I, I couldn't tell you, which actually made the inner uh, section so much easier to heal. I took it off after, on the fourth, like the fourth morning and it peeled really quickly and was healed in no time. It was just perfect. The one thing I will say is throughout this whole process is I am very fortunate that I work from home. My experience with a lot of the healing has probably been a little bit easier than someone who works like an office job or work, you know, works any job where you need to leave the house. The few times that I did leave the house in the like the first week or so, it was a little bit painful to walk. I will say that I am very fortunate. So if I say like things are really easy to heal, please just be aware that that is my experience and my experience alone. So with the bottom section of my leg done, I do think maybe in the future when I go back, so Vulcan is also doing my left leg. He's currently designing it now. I think I might get him to extend my right leg a little bit down onto my foot just so there's not like a circle around the bottom. I think I kind of want it like, I don't want my foot all tattooed and done, but I think I want to have it maybe some of the fire to go down just so like the line, there's not like a line and it's more like a blended kind of design towards the end. A little bit like my arms are, there's not like a, it doesn't just go here and then there's a line. It all kind of like blends out and kind of merges out to my merge mansion, kind of merges out. So I think that's what I want to do for my leg as well. Tattoos for the first like two weeks when you get them, they look kind of gross. You, I don't know how much detail you can kind of see now because it's towards the end, but like you can see on my hand here, there's like bits of skin peeling and it looks a bit gross. The first few days, it's always wet and sticky and horrible and it oozes and it looks really gross. And then it starts to like, peel and through the peeling the peeling process can take like up to you know from like a few days to like a week or so now i'm kind of on this one most of the peeling is done but it kind of just looks a little bit dry and then after like two-ish weeks it then starts to kind of look like skin again so tattoos look really gross i much prefer the tattoo process than piercings piercings take forever to heal. Tattoos heal faster, but I will say like the first two weeks of getting a tattoo, it's like disgusting. <laughs> so you've got to kind of like try to prepare for that up, you know, when you're getting them done. Don't think you're going to get a tattoo in the next few days. You could just be like, la la la, it's fine because it's going to be sore. It's going to sting. If you touch it, it's going to hurt. You have to like keep it away from things, try to keep it as clean as you possibly can. Like with ears and things, it's kind of easy to keep it away from stuff because it's here. Like what really, you don't really do much to your ears, but with your arms and things, like you use them all the time. That like, anything rubbing against it can make it hurt. Like clothing, touch against anything can make it hurt. Like the, it's, they're very different experiences, but I much prefer the tattoo process and the piercing process. So then we moved on to the Sindel section of my leg. Now I love Sindel. She was introduced in Mortal Kombat 3, one of my favorite characters from back then. But I did get one of the more recent ones. I think uh, this from Mortal Kombat 11. I got a Mortal Kombat 11 version of Sindel. Just because I think she was really cool. She has this really cool ability where she screams and she has like this powerful like vocal attack where it rips off the people's skin. It's so strong that it can like damage buildings. It can damage like, it's, it's, she has this, like, it's just, 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 she just has this like incredibly like powerful loud scream that can, you know, basically disembowel you. In the newer games, they had a really nice variation of it where a like a demon would come out of her as she screamed. Before it was kind of just like sound waves, but they added in this like extra element of like a de like a demonic kind of being would come out of her. It's almost like a demonic version of her, and I just loved how it looked. So I was like, right, I need to get this on me. <laughs> So we added that. We also put a crown onto her. She has like a face crown. It's not always like, it's just kind of a variation of how he, how she looks just to kind of make it a little bit more interesting. So I was like, yeah, let's put this version. I love it. I like purple is my favorite color. So I naturally was always very attracted to Sindel because she's purple and she has like a huge purple aura. She's, you know, everything about her is like purple. This was probably the section I was the most worried about. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. It's definitely on the higher pain, but I still think the lower calf, the inner lower calf was way worse than the upper thigh. I didn't think it was that bad. And before I got it done, I remember I remember had it in a video, there was this like guy getting tattooed there and he was like, oh, uh, uh. I clearly just have a very good pain tolerance because when I see things like that, I'm like, I don't understand how you're reacting like that because it's not that bad. So either, I'm just, like I said about my poker face, I'm clearly just 
able to handle it better. I just don't think it was that bad. I don't think it warrants people screaming and, you know, Aah! Yes, we, so of course we did another double session. Um, this was a bit longer than the other sessions because it was a lot, you know, the part of the leg is a lot bigger. So we did like seven and eight hours again. But what we also did is we did the other Kamidoga at the bottom of my leg, which is the one from the nether realm, which was next to Shinnok. We needed to finish that off. So we did that as well. This part of my leg, people kept saying this was going to be really bad as well, like the heel, like the Achilles heel section. I didn't understand. I forgot that. This bitch always wants to get involved in everything. No one said anything about you. How does Achilles heel sound like Google? But people kept saying to me that the Achilles heel section, like the tendon was going to be really bad. Honestly, again, I don't think it was that bad. I must be weird. I must be a bit strange. I don't know. I genuinely didn't think it was that bad. I don't know if because maybe the upper thigh was a little bit more painful and that felt less painful there. It felt like even, even less painful because... I had already gone through something that was even more paper. I don't know, maybe that was why it didn't feel that bad. But unfortunately, with this section, I was in a, a false pretense, I think, that the second skin was going to last because the last time we did it, it was going to. No, the next day, it had fully come off. What I will say, though, the inner thigh section was a little bit harder to heal because of where it was, and it was on the inside. It rubbed a bit more than on the outside, of course, it would. So... It was a little bit harder to heal. It, was, it took me a little bit more of effort to kind of walk for the first few days if I needed to do something. I had to wrap it up a lot more than I did in any other section. There was one day that me and Luxair went to Asda and I got to Asda and I said to her, I, I, I'm going to have to wrap it up. So I went and bought some cellophane in like the shop, went to the toilet, wrapped my leg up and then came back out and carried on shopping because I was like, oh, it's still not ready. Definitely more difficult to sleep with. And I, because like I'm a side sleeper, no matter kind of what side I was on, my leg was kind of touching it and it was very difficult to keep it apart and not be touched by anything. Out of anywhere that I've had on my leg, the inner upper thigh was the worst when it comes to the healing process. It took a, the longest out of anything to heal. And then we come to the final section of my leg, which is the back of the leg and the knee pit. And we put Quan Chi in this section. Now, Quan Chi, again, another one of my favorite characters from Mortal Kombat 4. I will say something. I rarely, throughout this tattoo process, have had a moment where I'm like, I need a break. I need to stop. I've kind of been okay. The knee pit was interesting. I didn't think it was going to be too bad because I had kind of both like the outer sides of it done already from the Shinnok and the Baraka section. They, the outsides of it and the kneecap had all been done. So it was just kind of like the center of it. I was like, oh, okay, maybe it won't be too bad. It was hell. <laughs> Obviously made it worse for myself because I said to Vulcan, I was like, can we put fire there? Because there, I wanted like a way to kind of connect the fire from around the dragon, the Mortal Kombat dragon logo all around it and not just kind of on the sides. And I was like, let's put fire there because then the fire's kind of like all around the Mortal Kombat logo. Because like we didn't just kind of black out the knee pit, we had to go over it quite a few times trying to make the fire texture. God, towards the end of it, I was like, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna have to stop. Like out of all this time, I felt a bit like a failure. I was like, no, I haven't had to do this the whole time. But I managed to power through and uh, yes, I got a fire in my knee pit. And I will say as well, walking after getting my leg done there was difficult, like really difficult. It took a long time to heal and kind of like when you're sitting on chairs, when doing anything because of how chairs and things are, like me sitting on my chair now, my knee pit is exactly where the edge of the chair is. So I had to kind of like sit on chairs weird. I couldn't kind of like lie down properly on my back because the bottom of my leg would like, the knee pit would like touch things. Like it was very difficult. And even just like walking, the constant kind of bending in the area because like yes when you've got a tattoo like here when i do this the tattoo kind of moves but doesn't move much when you get a tattoo in the pit it's moving all the time and that goes for the same with the leg as well so anytime i'd move my leg it would ache there's nothing you can really do about it unless you literally just don't move which of course for the majority of people even people who work from home that's not able you're not able to do that so it was definitely difficult to heal 
because I wanted, especially because I wanted fire there. If you're going to get your knee pit done, just be prepared. Even as someone who's very good at pain tolerance, has a good pain tolerance, like it was a lot. I will say as well, definitely within the leg pit section, there was a lot more of the kind of twitching as well. There's a lot of nerve endings in there and it definitely made me twitch a bit more than I normally would. But luckily, what I find actually is quite good about that section because I was kind of lying face down and my whole body weight was pushing down on myself. Like it was kind of easy to kind of keep myself a bit still. When I'm kind of sitting up or like sitting to the side, you're kind of in an awkward position. I do find actually a lot of the time, it's actually a lot more uncomfortable sitting in one sort of weird position for a long period of time than the actual tattooing. Like, especially with the arm, like doing the back of the arm when you kind of have to be like this so you can like kind of work on the outside, like upper, like outside bit. That's way more uncomfortable than the actual tattoo pain. Going the back of the leg was so easy for that reason because I just laid down flat and there was no like weird position. So that was quite nice. I think if I had to be in like a strange position and going through the tattoo pain of the knee pit, I would have had to be like, no, I need to stop like we need to have a break for like 20 minutes or then Karen later so that is the entire leg completed I am so happy oh I should probably say we also went up to more like the sort of like pubic line to like make the because we kind of missed a little bit beforehand you have to have some kind of like level of body confidence because it gets quite in, like especially when you're going like up towards like the groinal area like it's quite intrusive so you have to like make sure that you have some kind like there has I don't know it can be a bit awkward if you're not kind of I guess confident I'm not sure like I didn't really mind him being because like I had to pull my like trousers right up and like, I, my junk was pretty much out so like for him to get really far inside like towards like that section so you know you have to have <laughs> some kind of level of confidence I think actually it wasn't that painful like going around the right against like the pubic line as you would like where almost basically where the gooch would be like it really wasn't that bad but uh it, yeah you definitely have to kind of get over some kind of awkwardness or paranoia because it's just sort of like you you gotta get it done i could not imagine what it must be like as well being in those areas on someone who isn't clean like obviously i'm a germaphobe and like, I, I i don't think i could get cleaner if I, even if i tried like i'm a germaphobe so Maybe, maybe that's why I'm, I got a bit sick because I've had too much and my body needs more immune honey to eat dirt. I don't know, but like, I'm a bit of a germaphobe, so I had no worry that like, oh, what happens if I smell bad? Like, that didn't know, like have, thinking about I smell bad never crosses my mind because I know how clean I am, but I couldn't imagine like some people who might be a bit gross, especially straight men, like being in those areas. I'm like, God, I, I could not imagine some of the smells that people have to deal with. Uh, Wash your smelling ass and balls, you nappy mother. You. That concludes my leg tattoo experience. So unbelievably happy. As someone who is a huge Mortal Kombat fan, to be able to have an dedicated leg to something that I love so much is just... Especially because while the artwork is good, what I love about my, my tattoo work is that one thing that I always wanted to have is like, you don't have to like it, but you can't objectively say that it's bad because it's not. I've gone to people who are like, talented. I'm not gonna lie, it's not cheap, but you know, I saved and saved and saved for five years in order to be able to do this. Like this wasn't just like a thing that I just did on a whim. And I think people should take more pride in tattoo work and actually wait and not be impatient with this stuff. You know, it's on you forever and you want to make sure that what you're getting is good. Like you don't want shit, like you don't get crap work done. Wait a bit longer and just go to someone who can actually put ink in you properly and not just like, yeah, I'll do it for 20 quid. Uh, for someone who does my job as well, who is so like in front of the camera, in front of people all the time, the idea of having like bad tattoo work done, as I said, it's just worse. Like, so you may not necessarily like what I've done, but you can't objectively say that it's bad because it's not. It brings me so much joy and happiness to have this now. Like I'm, I'm starting to look, I've always pictured myself in my head and it's, 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 so nice to finally have like the final kind of transformation process i guess of how i want to look thank you of course i've been putting lots of shorts and stories over the time i've been getting this done so thank you for all the love and support that you have given me i will be doing when we start on my left leg i think i'm going to do a video where i basically talk about the healing process from start to finish where i film myself throughout the process and show you what it looks like day to day and i give you descriptions to kind of give you a little bit more of an insight kind of as the healing process with my recent tattoo work done it's been difficult because i've not really done like self tattoo videos very much i wasn't really too sure like what i should do and what people wanted to see but i have more of an understanding now although these like descriptive tattoo videos don't do as well as most other stuff done it's fine like i already know that but i will still be doing the shorts and everything that i have been doing and the, you know, the, the little clips but i do want to do like a healing video where i do it from start to finish you can actually kind of see the process properly so yeah the wonderful tattoo is vulcan um i could not be happier i cannot wait to start my other leg 
I'm not going to tell you. I mean, some people know what it is, but I'm not going to tell you. I have seen some like sort of mock-up designs we've done so far, and I'm really happy with it so far. So I cannot wait to start my other leg. We're getting really nicely done. We obviously, we did the first color session of my arm with Hyro Morning Star Tattoos. Very excited about that. Um, and I'm going to be seeing him on Sunday. Obviously, I hope, I mean, I'm sure I should be seeing him on Sunday. Just, I want to make sure that I'm a little bit better, but, um, we're going to be doing this section first, which I'm very, very excited about. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos that are coming up. Thank you for all my uh, lovely, lovely people who follow me everywhere. I'm a bit, my brain's a bit like dead now because I've been talking for over an hour, so I'm a bit kind of out of the loop. But thank you for, like, thank you for all the Patreons. Thank you for the Twitch shout outs. Twitch, Twitch people, Patreons. I love you all. Oh, God. Anyway, I'll see you soon for another fabulous video. Be fabulous, be be gay, be everything you want to be. And don't let any bitch other say that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are flawless. But